Hey there After Effects buddies, let's have a look at bringing in a Photoshop file, making it 3D, put the camera move on it. Good simple stuff. Okay, so let's go to File, Import, File, and let's pick our Photoshop file, which I've previously edited in Photoshop into separate layers. Okay, so I'm going to import as a composition, keep the layer sizes, hit Open. Okay, same thing here, Open. And here's my composition. Great. Okay. So all these different layers, boat, balloons, etc. I'm going to select all of those and make them 3D. Okay. So we need to separate these out. So I'm going to take the boat and I'm going to um, parent the boat. Okay. Um, to the background. Just so when I go into my custom view, which is the view I find useful for this, I can just click the background and push that all the way to the back, like so, and the boat just goes along with it. Saves a little bit of time there. Okay, then I'm going to take all these balloon layers and I'm going to move them around in 3D space, just kind of randomly. I just want to get some nice kind of separation between these layers don't want to do that just want to move it forwards this one let's move that forwards let's get them so okay so that should give us a nice kind of parallax when we move a camera okay so let's go back to our active camera of course the background now let's move these about a little bit okay all good now of course the background's all small now because we pushed it backwards so i'm just going to hit s for scale and scale that up and make it slightly bigger. Okay, so if I've got a camera move, if I move the camera to the left or right a little bit, I won't go over the edge. Okay, so I'm going to do a little animation on the boat. Okay, I'm going to move my boat over this way. Add a little position keyframe, go to the end of the comp, move that over there. So we've got a little boat sailing across the sea. And I want the balloons to also have some animation. So what I'm going to do, take my blue balloon, I'm going to hit the P key. Okay, I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch. And I'm going to type in wiggle. Now I want quite a slow wiggle, so maybe one. Okay, open brackets, one, 30. Maximum 30 pixels. Okay. That's kind of giving me a blowing in the breeze effect. I may want it a little more subtle. So let's change that to maybe 0 0.5. And let's try that, make it slower. Okay. So to make it quick and easy, I'm going to right click or control click on the position and choose copy expression only. And I'm going to select all the other balloons and just hit paste. So now, very quick and easy, we've got all the balloons blowing in the breeze. All right. Now we've got that. I'm going to go to layer, new camera. I'll choose a 50 millimeter camera. I'll put the depth of field on, yeah. And I'll hit OK. So, it's all good. It's all playing back a little slower now. So I might just go to the adaptive resolution here. Should help. And maybe just turn that down to half. Okie dokie. Now, I'm going to animate the camera, but I always like to animate the camera using a null. So I'm going to go to layer, camera, create orbit null. There we go. I'm going to hit P on this null, add a keyframe at the start, and I'm going to go to the end, and I'm going to move that forward in Z space. There we go, move that through the balloons. That's nice. So we've got our nice balloons and bolt there, put that onto full res. Quality. There we go. 
we can get a nice nice preview of that so really quick and simple I could take that and add some extra keyframes I could maybe move it so it goes around the side a little bit as it takes its journey and come this way maybe we'll have it go up a little bit okay so we can change the path of our camera with this null object we can move that about we've got the bezier handles there we go we can so it's got a nice kind of smooth path oh quick and easy there you go very simple animation using some Photoshop layers a camera and um, and a little expression okay enjoy thank you